Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 888. My name is Tanya. <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time you tuned in and showed up. We, I so appreciate you. Thank you so much for your likes and your subscribes and your shares. It certainly does mean the world to me. Like on the way in, it gives me an energetic donation to my channel and it helps me tune into you. These are timeless readings, so whenever you press that play button, I believe that spirit was motivating you to tune in. And I certainly do appreciate that. And I'm honored to give these readings to you. So, comma, 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 chameleon is on the radio. Let's get this party started, shall we? Spirit, guides, and angels of your whitest lights, please give me a clear message for the collective. One that brings healing and hope. Please protect me as I open myself up to channel these messages. Please protect my beautiful collective. Thank you, Spirit, for everything you give us each and every day. Amen. It's Friday. And it's pay week. So it's Good Friday. So I hope everybody's having a good Friday. As I am. A good Friday. It's always good to get paid. All right. So now, comma, 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 chameleon. Karma. <laughs> You come and go, you come and go. Yeah, that's it. So some person is coming and then quickly going. But with that said, the real message here that I was channeling was a song, Make It Real. And it's by the Jets. What's the song? Yeah. I loved you, you didn't feel the same, though we're apart, you're in my heart, <laughs> can't even sing it, give me one more chance to make it real, yeah, that's the song, so, Excuse the lousy singing, but that's the song. And somebody didn't love you or didn't show that they loved you at the time. That's what the song is about. Now, this part, the other person is wanting to make it real for this, uh, for maybe like say it's your person that didn't love you. And you want to make it real for them. Nah, I don't I don't know about that. But it's like they should be making it real for you. If they don't, then they weren't the one. But it's like the song is about this person trying to give it a go. Even though this person didn't love them, they want to give it a second chance. If that makes any sense to you. It really sounds like the girl's got self-worth issues. But the point is, that's the song that I'm channeling, okay? Somebody wanted, tried really hard to make it real for the other person. And the other person wasn't feeling it. So let's see what Spirit has to say. Spirit, can you give me some messages, please? Past person. This is not a new person. And I know people are sighing and saying this is sickening. But it is what it is, peeps. I can only channel when I channel, babies. It's the energy. What can I tell you? Don't kill the messenger. Mm. All right, past person spirit. Really now? Baby mama or baby daddy. Yeah. Some of you might have a baby mama, baby daddy, this past person. Releasing what no longer serves you, them, no longer serves them. Releasing what no longer serves them. Don't even think about going on the floor spirit, enough. Hate is gonna hate. Don't we just love that haters? Ugh. Yeah, we love haters. Yeah. Non-committal. Hmm. Okay. I can't let you go. You had a glow up, baby. Yeah. The answers are coming. What's the bottom of the deck? <laughs> For people who don't want to hear it, tune out now, baby. I'm giving you a shot before I show this card. I'm giving you a shot. I'm giving you a shot. Reconciliation. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? I can't say it any clearer. This is a person from your past who can't let you go. 
they were non-committal. This can be past, present, or future energy, if I haven't said that. This is 505 on the clock. This is also collective readings. Collective meaning any energy, any sign. And energy does not have a designation of gender, but I do say he or she, so please excuse and forgive if that is triggering to somebody. It certainly isn't intentionally... I'm not intentionally trying to trigger you. Okay. So they were non-committal. Probably not a surprise to you. There's haters in this connection. Maybe that is a surprise to you. But you walked away. 5.51 on the clock. You did not stick around. You walked away from this past person. Because I guess you saw the writing on the wall. That they have a baby mom or baby daddy. Take the rolls and flip them as you see fit. It could be you I'm talking about. And I'm saying your person. Or it could be a person I'm talking about and saying you. The answers are coming, though, as far as what happened here. Why did this end? But I believe it was because they entered, I don't want to energetically, maybe energetically they walked away from you and you just physically walked away from that person. But the reason why they were non-committal is because there was haters. The hater in this connection, in this situation, was baby mom and baby dad. Yeah. And maybe they are singing that song to you. They loved you, but maybe they felt like you didn't feel the same. Or it could be the other way around. Maybe you loved that person. And they didn't feel the same way or they didn't show it to you because they were with somebody else. They were entertaining other people. So you want to make it real for this person, but they need to get real. Because they're not appreciating anything you're doing for them. They didn't appreciate it back then. What makes you think by making it real, you're going to make them feel it better? More now. They needed to learn the lessons that they needed to learn with this baby mom and baby daddy. And that's why they're not around. It wasn't something that you did wrong that created this separation between the two of you. The separation was meant to happen. I know that's a hard pill to swallow sometimes. You know, you, we all, not we all, but some of us were raised a certain way where we are told that we do unto others as we want unto us and yet we get crapped on despite that we can treat people with the best of intentions be the absolute top notch to this person and yet they show no respect to us or they leave us anyway now we can take that personal and say we need to try harder or we can step back and go into introspection and say is it me or is it this person could i have contributed to that and if you can honestly evaluate the situation separated from this person and say no i can't say what i did wrong to create this mess then it's on your person Sometimes things happen. Bad things happen to good people. It doesn't mean that you'll never love again. It doesn't mean that you're a horrible person and you're suffering because of it. We have to learn lessons in life. That's all it means. Sometimes the hard way. Especially when we care about a person and we put a lot of time, effort, and energy into a person. All right. And this could be the song... Um, they're karmic singing it to them, you know? They the per they realize that they're, your person doesn't love them and they're trying to keep them stuck and hold on to them and I can do better and I can do... It's not about that. It was karmic lessons that you played a role in as the karmic. And it's over. Holding on to this person as tightly as you think you should or that you feel is necessary is not going to keep them with you. All right, let's go on to see if there's any more cards that can clarify on the other end of the deck. Contact me. Twin Flame. There you go. Yeah. You've changed. And you have. You've had the glow up, right? You've changed. This is true love. Can't make it up. 10, 10 on the clock. Any other cards, Spirit? 
The two of you have a spiritual connection because you're twins. Look it up if you don't know what twin flame is. It's basically, the premise of it is that it is one soul, two separate bodies that go on two separate journeys. And you might not have, you met the person because it's a past person. And then you separate from each other. You go on to learn your karmic lesson separately. And if the vibrations are matched, you learn your karmic lessons. You get spiritually woke, both of you. There's a possibility of union in this lifetime. But the whole point of a, um, a twin flame connection is not union. It is to learn these lessons, these triggering lessons. If you feel lack about yourself, it's going to bring that out in you more. And if you have self-sabotaging behaviors, it's going to come out more. It's like salt in the wound in a way, but it, it's also a cleansing. Salt can clean too, you know? So you learn these things. And then if it's meant to be that both of you want the same thing, which is each other, and you're not toxic, and you learn your lessons, then spirit rewards that. But if they're, one person's not woke, the other person is moving forward, the other person's staying stuck, how is that going to work? Think about it. It doesn't. They played mind games with you. Well, mind games are being played with them. Played, um on them by their karmic harsh words were said could be harsh words were said between the two of you and that's why you don't speak to each other they feel like you've changed and you have because glow ups there are the other on the other deck but this is twin flame so these are karmic lessons that we need to learn in order to grow in this lifetime 12 12 o'clock lack of trust was one of them and it could be your person or it could be you ghosted so you were ghosted by your person because they had baby mama baby daddy issues they've had feelings of lack they didn't trust that you could provide for them what they were looking for and they moved on to somebody else they moved on to the baby mama baby daddy or they already had that person take it how it resonates for each person it might be a different story let's go into the tower and let's find out something more about this situation spirit come through help me with this Help me to help the person viewing as to what happened, why they were ghosted in this particular twin flame connection spirit. And I'm sure it hurt. I'm sure it was very devastating to you to feel like no matter what I do, I can't make it real for this person. They can't see my worth. Because they were in toxic cycles that they needed to work out their day on the clock. They weren't ready. They weren't ready yet. But they feel it now. So despite how you might think about the situation, like they never gave a damn, they do. They just never showed it. They never showed it to you, and it's sad. But spirit protected you from this connection because it was toxic and it wouldn't have worked out anyways. Spirit is showing you the way now, though. Ten of Cups. Cups is uh, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Yeah, there's broken dreams and misery here. Domestic disharmony. If they're with this karma, this baby mama, baby daddy, there's... It's not fulfilling to your person. It's disappointing. Maybe they thought that because they were having a family with this person. 14, 14 on the clock... That would be wonderful. Everything they ever dreamed of. Now they're going to have. They're going to be a dad. Or they're going to be a mom. They're going to have a family together. It's going to be idyllic. But the toxicity was the, uh, was always there. Between the two of them. Both parties were toxic. Toxic begets toxicity. It wasn't going, meant to work out. It was meant to learn from. So what they thought was toxic with you, what they thought was not going to be fulfilling with you, it became that other person. So now everything about you is fascinating to your person because they see the mirror of what this actually was. They thought you were the toxic person. You were the problem. They just 
let you walk away, if they walked away from you, then everything would be great. Because maybe that's what they were told by haters. And now they're coming to the realization that it was never about you. And in a sense, it was because these people made it their business to keep you away from them. So they did anything necessary to separate the two of you. So it was about you in a sense, but really it was about them and their lack and their toxicity that created this problem in the first place. They didn't like you because your light bothered them. They would rather stay in dark energy. But your light was shining bright, you know, like in nighttime and all of a sudden somebody flashes a light in your face. It's irritating. You irritated these people because your light was the energy that you carry was what irritated them. Oh, well, that's not your problem. That's not your problem at all. But now they're with this karmic and they're in a broken situation. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Sad, empty. They feel this person doesn't even love them. Yeah. Unhappy, shattered dreams again, Nine of Cups. It's emotionally draining and devastating to this person. Very disappointing. Queen of Wands, but you're this confident, passionate, sexy person, attractive. Charismatic, that's what they see you as. And Wands is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Everything this comic is not. Give me some more spirit, please. Ten of Swords, yeah. Betrayed. Playing the victim. Maybe they've been backstabbed by these haters. Maybe they've been backstabbed by this karmic. What's the Ten of Swords about, Spirit? Spirit, what's the Ten of Swords about? What's the Ten of Swords about? Thank you. The Queen of Swords. Honest, perceptive, open-minded, but it'll cut you to the quick. So there's more than one person. You could be embodying more than one person. Maybe they went to us as Queen of Swords thinking they were going to be the better choice. But balance is needed in this situation. What's the Queen of Swords about, Spirit? Death. There's illusions. All right. Makes sense. Yeah. Notice. So, the, you are the Queen of Wands. Very confident. But instead of going with you, they were backstabbed by this Queen of Swords. Or it could be that they were backstabbed. Maybe you... Okay, this is what it is. This is what it is. You were the Queen of Wands. Very attractive, sexy, confident, and charismatic, and cheerful to this person. Very optimistic, hopeful. You gave them a lot of good advice. They couldn't stop looking at you. They found you to be very independent and self-sufficient and it was very sexy to this person never said it to you though you know, whatever. they were betrayed though in the interim for whoever it was that they were going with and now you're guarded you're the queen of swords you're truthful you're fair but you'll cut somebody down to the quick and and hobby so now you're defensive against your person so there's balance that needs to happen with your person or even with you and your person there has to be this balance between the two of you because right now you're you're in a defensive mode so they are afraid to come towards you because they feel like you're going to just cut them down you're going to just deny them but there was a lot of illusions and deceptions and deceit in this connection hidden intentions 
this person wasn't honest with you. And maybe subconsciously you realized that maybe they were lying to you and they had somebody else 2020 on the clock. But there's an end transformation, an ending of this cycle with your person. There's an ending with this karmic. Yeah. Here, give me some more cards, please, about this karmic that's going to happen. Yeah, the world. There's going to be success here, but you have to give, they have to give something up in order to get this. They have to end the connection with the karmic. Then they can receive the reward for that. The reward is that they're going to be with you. Yeah. But this is Queen of Cups in reverse. The haters is coming out. Insecure, unhappy, emotionally immature, bitter, spiteful, and vengeful. That's the kind of person that they went with. The Queen of Cups in reverse. Instead of you. So there is an ending that's going to happen in this connection. It's just a matter of time. They're a knight of pentacles. Loyal. Hardworking. But slow moving. They've been in the heads, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're an earth sign. Yeah. They want to come towards you, but they're in their fears about it. Eight of Cups in reverse. Fear of moving on. Fear of change. Abandonment issues. Non -con you know, non-committal staying stuck in bad situations. And that's what they're doing now with this Queen of Cups in reverse. But they want to end the conflict. Five of Wands in reverse. It's a matter of time before this converges. They're going through tower moments. They're resisting the tower moments, but they've been, they might have had more than one tower moment and they're going to get a big one, a big awakening to this connection between the two of you. They've tried to control the narrative 2022 20, on the clock. I mean, 22, 22 on the clock. But they're going to have a rude awakening and then a realization about this connection that the one they're with and the one they want to be with they want to be with you but now they're stuck in a karmic cycle with the person who possibly has their child and they feel like they've had to make it work and the karmic is holding on with both fists saying i'll do better i'll try harder you know what that made me let me make it real for the for you but the reality is they can't because they love you and the karmic knows it. The karmic knows it. Yeah, they do. And no matter what they do, it's not going to change that happiness. So the bottom of the deck on the floor, really. They're done. They're done with this karmic. They're done with it, fighting the feelings that they have for you because you are their happiness. Yeah. But there was triggers, and this is what Twin Flame is. It's a trigger to change, man. They're fully focused on you, though. They're watching you. And maybe the comic is watching you, too. But they cut you off drastically, or they're, or they're planning to cut the comic off drastically. Take it how it resonates. They've been on this roller coaster ride in this connection. The fears, the anxieties, you know what I mean? It's, and then the crashing down. It's just... Yeah, the lessons are being learned, but there's gossip, there's haters, people being malicious, petty, and mean. Keep glowing up, it don't matter. You're glowing up, you're changing, you're transforming, your person sees it. You change from the sexy, confident queen of wands to this defensive queen of swords because you felt like you had to, to protect your heart. Yeah, this is in pause, this connection between the two of you. You're not seeing this person 24, 24 on the clock. You're not seeing you. But they're watching you from fake profiles, your social media pages, whatever you got going on. They're watching it. There's a lot of emotions between the two of you. Thank goodness, spirit. Let it stay on the floor. I'm done. All right, let's just move on. Yep, roller coaster ride come out from the bottom to the top again. But they're with this comic. Yep, they're with the comic, and the comic is putting them through a lockdown, mental prison, put them through hell. For real. They don't know where they're coming or going. You feel like it's a tragedy that they can't be with you. 
and they want you so badly that they've denied their feelings for so long and they never told you their truth but you're having a spiritual ascension you're glowing up man you're moving forward you're moving on from this person and they feel it they feel the energy shift between the two of you you're not as invested any longer but they are they're getting worse with their investment they're they're feeling you like they're grabbing your energy and they're holding on with both fists you are insatiable to this person you're their wish fulfillment you know they can't lie but they took you out like the trash man see i cut you off nope you know and cut you to the quick really quickly but they're in the grip of their own anxiety and their own fears they want to meet with you but anxiety comes out again they feel way down the anxiety of coming towards you is scary this is your divine masculine but it's not that they don't want to come towards you they just feel like i don't want to be rejected they have a lot of issues like childhood issues of self-worth and they have to work through those so until they do that they're not emotionally available but they're not going to be emotionally available to this karmic either they're ending the connection with that karmic the cycle is coming to a close it's going to be over with before you know it 26 26 on the clock so what i can just recommend is that Use your intuition. You'll know what to do next. I'm only saying this to you. I'm reading the energy. I'm reading the cards to you. But you already know the answers within yourself. So that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me on Empress Aries 888. Please like and subscribe and join my tribe. I'd love to have you. Until next time, be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.